Hey everyone, this is Dax from RhythmJuice.com. In this video, Sarah and I are gonna show you how we decluttered our own personal Lindy Hop and share with you the 11 basic moves we use to define our Lindy Hop foundation and our personal style. Moves mount up like plastic children's toys, dance event t-shirts, and as seen on TV kitchen appliances. If you're not careful, they will occupy all of your brain space and your practice time, and you'll waste a lot of that time focusing on adding new moves instead of working on the quality of your dancing, your communication, your styling, and your musicality. Let's get started by looking at our 11 essential Lindy Hop moves. The six count close basic. The 180 down the line, it looks like this. So let's not spoil our sweet romance. The send out. The eight count circle, it looks like this. The traveling tuck turn from clothes. The underarm pass. Sugar push, it looks like this. Stationary tuck turn from open. The swing out. Forward facing. The swing out from open position. A free spin pass. Those are the 11 moves that Sarah and I have personally decided to represent our Lindy Hop Foundation. And as a side note, when focusing on basics or teaching basics in particular, Sarah and I actually don't focus on individual moves, we focus on basic flows. So those 11 moves actually reduce down into six basic flows. So you have a lot less to think about, a lot less to juggle when learning the dance. To be honest, we could just dance with a send out circle. I could do that all night long, but no one's really gotta know about that. If you're an experienced dancer, you can probably notice that there are a lot of basic moves that we have decided to exclude from our essential repertoire. Not doing all those moves is a major part of what defines our personal style and helps keep our dancing clutter-free so we can focus more on styling, communication, speed, and the feel of our dancing, building the quality of what we know as opposed to the quantity of moves we're doing. Lastly, we will do a little improvisation using only two structured moves and a freestyle concept, which will demonstrate how by limiting your move choices, you will actually increase creativity in other areas. Choice on the table, basic, 180, freestyle, in closed position, moving your own body, putting all that together. Pretty simple, but super tidy. And while I wouldn't call this the most amazing dance ever, there isn't really much to complain about or no glaring bad habits because we haven't allowed for too many other things to happen yet. So what moves bring you joy? If you had to create a short list of basic essentials and then an even shorter list of I can't live without moves, what would they be? Comment below. We can't wait to read your answers. And if you wanna jump on the minimalist tidy up Lindy Hop train with us, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so we can make more videos like this. And if you're interested in working on our new Lindy Hop course on Rhythm Juice, we'll include links below in the description section. That's all for today, you guys, and we'll see you next time. Hey everyone, this is Dax from Lindy Hop body movement and some of the connection details share with you some tips <laughs> some of the connection details <laughs> chosen to represent our lindy hop our 
Hush, 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 hush. Then do a little music demo to finish it off. Music, music demo. demo. <laughs> Demonstrate how we create variety. Does it bring my partner joy? We're gonna teach you how to connect, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna get all the followers chiming in here about uh, their opinions on the moves that we're forcing people through. My Lord, jeez.